hello warning this content contains a whole lot of scripture but it's well worth it it's well worth getting the understanding in order to be made free also let me go ahead and just make a disclaimer for this video this one here is not for everybody it's only for those who have been acquainted with sorrow and bore the grief of having parents who either play favorites parents who are messy emotionally mentally or spiritually and maybe even physically abusive okay so this video is actually meant to build those people up and it's meant for the believer so for those who want to know how am i supposed to honor my father or my mother when he's in jail how am I supposed to honor parents who are unrighteous, a, a mother who's a liar? How am I supposed to do that when my mom is a narcissist and I'm the scapegoat in the family? I've been the chosen one. How can I honor a perverted pedophile for a father? How? How can I honor a father who has never been there for me? because he was in the crack house. How can I honor these people when they are not doing honorable things? Okay, they're not doing honorable things and I call myself a Christian. Oh God, please set me free. Somebody want to be free on today and they need the truth. And so the prayer for today is that I pray Dear Father God, liberate somebody through this video and through your word on today. Give us the dynamic duo of wisdom and understanding. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Recently, I have been involved in some conversations with a few different people. They wanted to know what does it actually mean to honor your parents let's get right into it so today we're talking about what does it actually mean to honor thy parents um, if you ask somebody this question well you're probably gonna get a series of answers and none of them are really gonna even answer the actual question you'll probably get answers like well I honor my parents because they raised me or um, they brought me into this world. Well, guess what? That's really not answering a question because you didn't ask to come here. <laughs> okay? Some of them say, well, because they're old. Well, yeah, but that's not a debt that you pay. Okay? The Bible says, oh, no man, nothing but to actually love them. Some will probably say, um, because... You know, they love me. Okay, that's a nice answer. That's wonderful. But guess what? Let's go to the Word and see what the Word has to say. Leviticus 19 tells us to show respect for the aged and honor the presence of the elder. Fear God. And then he says, I am God. So we know we are supposed to show respect for the elder. But there are some that actually think that um, honoring their parents literally means that the parent can't do no wrong, that they're always right, and then we are to worship that, right? That is not the demonstration. If they do something wrong, you let them know you are to speak up for yourself and not make excuses for their wrongs. For example, if a parent steals from you, that makes them a thief, okay? So you take them to court. Just because it's your mom doesn't mean that they're not supposed to pay you back. Otherwise, they are being manipulative towards you and thereby um, causing you to just be quiet and not have a mind of your own where you don't get to address these issues. I was brought up that I am to honor thy mother and father um, and made to believe that 
you know, that meant no talking back. Okay, so some of us um, were taught to not talk back and your days would be long. You don't want to put yourself in a situation that or a position that makes you come out of your character and who God has called you to be or make you come out of character where you are actually provoked to dishonor okay dishonor your parents over some nonsense Proverbs 27 and 12 tells us that a prudent man foresees evil and hides himself from it okay so um, and they are punished if they go to it so if you see evil workings child just don't even go to the party if you foresee that because remember a wise or a prudent man he hides himself from it no matter who it is you foresee the evil and you hide so during the upcoming holiday parties it's okay to just stay in peace instead of staying in pieces let's go deeper Stay right here. Let's go deeper. Let's talk about it. Proverbs 20 says the Lord detests double standards, right? He is not pleased by dishonest scales or unbalanced scales, whether it's unbalanced scales in the marketplace or unbalanced scales in the legal system. The Lord hates unbalanced scales. What, what does that look like? Unbalanced skills looks like um, the, the George Floyd case. People want to see balanced scales, so guess what they did? They protested because they want to see balanced scales. Nature balances itself so that we can achieve a nice homostasis or harmony or balance. Okay, by having four seasons, spring, summer, winter, and fall. Exodus chapter um, 20, it says to honor your father and your mother. Let's get it right. It's father first. So that your days may be uh, long in the land that the Lord has given to you. Now, if you've heard this over and over, think about it. Was this scripture used to browbeat you into submission by your parents if you got out of line? If so, then it was kind of taken way out of context, okay? Because the only person to be feared here is God, Alpha, okay? For it is the fear of the Lord that is the beginning of wisdom, huh? It is the fear of the Lord that is the beginning of knowledge. Uh, Proverbs chapter 10, it tells us the fear of the Lord prolongs life, but the years of the wicked will be shortened. Huh? The fear of the Lord is a fountain of life, okay? The fear of the Lord is to actually hate and shun evil. Okay, the evil way, the arrogant one, the prideful one, or in modern day terminology, the narcissist, the Jezebel, and even now we got these Karens running around here. Okay, so the fear of God is actually your confidence. So if the scripture was used against you to manipulate you or to control you and ultimately uh, uh, abuse you, whether it was knowing or unknowing, then that's abnormal use, which is abuse. Check this out. Right after Moses wrote the Ten Commandments, where the scripture came from, he told the people in verse 20, he said, Do not be afraid, for God has come in order to test you. Okay? He came in order to analyze you that you would fear him so that you would not sin so that you could remain and not sin it was basically a guideline of the old law and the the old law of moses it was just a guideline we had to have some type of guideline in order to establish order and so if we go back a couple chapters um around the eight chapter 18 we will see that moses father-in-law um jethro he told moses he said um 
it's not good that you got all these people coming around you because the people started coming around him to inquire because the people wanted to they knew that he was a prophet and he could prophesy and they wanted some answers pertaining to their small matters so his father jethro told him he said it's not good that all these people keep coming out here you're gonna wear yourself out so he said this is what you do you just need to teach them number one teach them the statutes and laws number two teach them or show them the way that they must walk and number three show them the work that they must do this, this is where the commandments actually came from so it was basically to establish order because when there's no order you're gonna find chaos every single time so parents are supposed to raise their children up and make them to know these three things okay they're to raise them up and make them know the statutes and laws of God show them the way that they must go and the work that they must do e Ephesians um, 6 and 2 tells us to honor the father and mother which is the first commandment commandment with promise promise of what that your days would be long why your days will be long because you have been taught the the statutes and laws the way that you must walk and the work that you must do and it continues to go uh, on to say fathers do not provoke your children to wrath but bring them up in the admonition of the Lord now another version says parents it doesn't just point out fathers it says parents don't provoke your children to wrath but bring them up in the admonition of the Lord now what is admonition admonition means uh, to remind or to urge or um, to urge to do a duty, to caution, to advise. So we don't actually want to provoke or bait our children into wrath or an argument of, of any sort. If and when it ever comes down to this, then somebody needs to go. Guilt free. Bye bye. Somebody needs to go because you don't want to get up into dishonoring them. Proverbs 22 already tells us um, in chapter 6 to train in verse 6 to train up a child in the way that he should go okay so how should we train them what is this training them talking about teach them the statutes and laws show them the way that they must walk and the work that they must do these little laws didn't go anywhere these three things are still there and when he is older that child will not depart from it meaning in the admonition of the Lord they're not going to depart from the Lord okay and you train them up in the Lord and you train them up in their career and you know you could train them up in their uh, gifts and in their talents and you can train them to even run the family business if you are leaving a legacy behind and how to manage your legacy you're passing things down generation after generation that is what they're honoring proverbs 9 says my son hear the instruction of your father and don't forsake the law of your mother what law hmm okay you're starting to catch on for they will be a graceful ornament on your head and chains on your neck it's like jewelry you remember these things and it's like jewelry okay it's it, proverbs 3 and 1 says my son do not forget my law okay what law is this urging us not to forget the law of moses the statutes and laws pertaining to the way we, we must walk and the work we must do second timothy 5 um the niv version says i am reminded of your sincere faith which first lived in your grandmother lois and in your mother eunice and i'm persuaded now that it also lives in you see timothy he was referring to the law the ministry the legacy the blessing the tribute the gift so that's the honor 
okay? So it's just like a, 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 a student, a smart student brings honor to that teacher who, who actually taught them. A child would bring honor to the parent who taught them. Taught them what? Oh, you getting it now. Who taught them the statutes and laws, the way they must walk, and the work they must do as it pertains to godliness. That is how you honor your parents. That's the answer to the question. You honor them with your life by living right, not because of these other reasons, okay? To honor means to pay homage. Just like in the movie Friday, when um, the young man snatched his chain back off of Debo's neck and said, my grandmama gave me that chain. Well, his grandmother must have been very valuable because he wasn't letting that chain go away. He was paying tribute to her. He was observing her. He was giving her credit and celebrating, giving her accolades because she was to be honored. She did something worth being honored. We only worship a supreme being or a deity like God. So if a parent is using scripture to browbeat you into a, a form of spiritual manipulation, which is actually satanic, well, guess what? That's the same as witchcraft, okay? So that is an absolute no-no. That's witchcraft. To dishonor, let's talk about dishonor. That way we can really understand what honor is. Dishonor is to cause shame, is to be disgraceful, um, a dishonor of character, to discredit, a reproach of something, or a loss of honor. Uh, abuse is dishonor. Is part of it. So if you come around it where you can't respect them, dismiss yourself and don't even be in the presence of that. This, these commandments was used as a guideline to establish order according to Moses or the uh, Mosaic law. Well, guess what? I have good news. We are no longer under that law. Okay, we are under the new law of dispensation through grace, okay, or dispensation of grace through Jesus Christ. And um, we are to honor God way more than we honor any being, okay, any being, especially those that are led astray by the desires uh, of this world and their the lust of the world and the worldly desires. We, we are to honor God the Lord okay and uh, Matthew 12 and 8 Jesus um, the disciples told him they said uh, Jesus your mother and your brother is outside seeking to speak with you and he answered them and he said who is my mother and who are my brothers and he stretched his hand out towards the disciples and he told them he told his followers he said all of these right here Here's my mother. Here's my brothers. For whoever does the will of my father by believing in me is my brother and sister and mother. Huh? The Message Bible, it tells us that obedience is thicker than blood. Meaning obedience to God. Okay? It's not scriptural that blood is thicker than water. That's not scriptural. But what is scriptural is obedience is thicker than blood. Mm -hmm. Matthew 10 is and 37, it tells us that anyone who loves their mother more than they love me, they're not even worthy of me. This is what Jesus said. Anyone who loves their son or daughter, their children more than me is not even worthy of me. So you see, my friends, this right here, this is that unadulterated truth that don't nobody want to tell you about, okay? We are not to make idols out of our children or our parents or anyone, our spouses or mates or anyone or anything for that matter, more than God. We don't put anything above that. That's the one we worship. Okay, so remember when we're talking about honor and honoring your parents, what we're really talking about is paying homage and remembering.
giving recognition to, giving tribute to, and accolades to our parents for what? Teaching us the statutes and laws, showing us the way to walk and the work we must do pertaining to godliness. The homage is your life. So the question is, how are you living? That's the homage. Now, if you like this video, go ahead and pay homage. Do the honorable thing. Go ahead and click that like button. And if you made it this far, hey, you might as well go on ahead and subscribe, okay? If you made it to the end of this video, I congratulate you. Go ahead and share what you meant if, if somebody was to ask you, how do you honor your parents? Until next time, Coach Gwen, your GPS, getting you positioned for success. I want you to be immensely blessed. I love you.